In this video, I'm going to show you a few implementations of image processing using color spaces. So I'm going to load this, um, those packages that we are used to, but also um, a ND image for, from SciPy that will make easier for us to show examples using image filtering. I'm going to load an image here. So this is a an RGB image. And as I told you, it's actually um, uh, coded when, when it was written in sRGB. But then I'm going to talk about that later. So when you get this, we can split the channels by just defining the third dimension here to 0, 1 and 2 and those will be related to red, green and blue and, and you can see that when you look at the crayons here so the blue here uh, is related to this crayon and while for example the white one has all three colors combined this way we can decompose the image into three matrices and then process them for example we could increase the brightness only in, uh, using the red channel so in this case I'm, I just took I copied in the image converted it to a 32-bit integer to make um, to process it then I increased the just the red so the first channel here increased the brightness in for some value and then I clipped it from zero uh, between zero to 255 and start it in, in the same channel similarly I just did that by increasing the blue channel only in the blue channel and showing them so by adding just to red channel we have a warmer and a sensation of warmth and while in adding to the blue channel we have uh, a sensation sensation of a cool of cool in this image color channels can also be used to mix colors and then create effects in the in this case i'm combining red with blue um, green with red and also um, blue with with green and a combination a linear combination between them yeah, and then I can produce a different set of colors in this case. However, as I told you in the previous video, in order to process image, for example, to enhance them, we could, uh, in principle, be naive and repeat, repeat the process that we already seen in previous lectures in all channels individually. However, this may cause undesired effects, creating uh, colors that are unbalanced this is uh, basically because we are using the sRGB color system and this is a nonlinear system but there is also other uh, reasons so the RGB the RGB system itself it contains the chromaticity component that we may not want to change we for example may want to change just the what is related to all the, um, the the elements at the same time so just the achromatic light of the of the image so I'm going to show you um, in a few moments so I just defined it here a uh, function for gamma enhancement and I mentioned in the last uh, video that actually RGB and sRGB are related to each other however the sRGB is gamma corrected because our visual human system is uh, response is not linear so in here I have two images one image that uses the uh, li um, the direct RGB so it's a, R a linear RGB and the other one that uses sRGB and then I'm going to comment this uh, just to show you so it looks like uh, the linear RGB is actually produces a darker image 
but this is because the way we perceive we, if we just um, have a response of light that is similar along all values from darker to brighter ones actually as humans we perceive better the um, uh, values that uh, like let's say we distinguish better values in one end of the uh, the light and less in the other so when we do that we see we perceive it as a dark image in this case when we correct it or when we apply a gamma correction that's uh, similar to a square root but not e exact like that um, we have an image that's more pleasant to see let me first get the first image that's a linear RGB and then correct it by using 1 over 2.2 that's roughly um, 0 0.46 or so so uh, if, it, if it was 1 over 2 would be a square root then we have the gamma adjustment uh, for the linear RGB which makes a similar image when compared to uh, sRGB similarly when we get the sRGB we can convert it to linear RGB by uh, making a power of 2.2 and then the linearized sRGB looks like that so we can use that in our um, to, to, to make image processing methods that are more adequate when we want to do math so use linear algebra or regular algebra in images we should use the linear space so this is because uh, performing operator operations directly on sRGB may not match real world color perceptions most images are written in sRGB but then we can use either convert to linear RGB or use other color systems let me define here two functions the first function uses the directly the RGB as it is so I'm what I'm doing here is using the ND image package that comes with the SciPy to to make a Gaussian filter I'm going to load an image a noisy image or it could be a regular image here but um, I'm going to load an image and then we I'm going to process this image by filtering using a Gaussian filter that will smooth the, the image in the first function so RGB we are considering that we have the linear system and in the second one I'm going to first compute the um, the the image squared to uh, sorry a uh, power of 2.2 which will make it linear again and then afterwards I'm going to reverse it by taking um, the gamma adjustment again let's see let's compare the the two ones so I just load this image here let me show you what this image looks like so I have this image here it's just basically RGB and then y m and c so if i i compute so let me change here those values to be equal so if i use for example a uh, sigma of four to filter it using a gaussian filter the first one uh, uses all um, channels without any correction and the second one considers that we have an sRGB system so we have to do this uh, gamma corrections here okay so the first one when we mix colors actually creates a um, weird effect here in fact when we combine uh, red with green it shouldn't be black right so because we, we are mixing those two and uh, so um, this is because we are using a non-linear system and we have weird effects on the borders of those blended colors by using an adequate system that's uh, the linear one we compensate for that and then 
blending those colors makes makes much more sense so it this makes much more sense than on the the left hand side so we should do that we we should when we are doing math using the rgb system we should always uh, convert it to a linear system also we can process images in alternative color systems there are many of them i will show just the hsv let us show first that same image of the dog um, but separating them instead of rgb into s h and v as i told you the hue channel here is uh, related to um, values that are um, in one end at uh, in one end near to red in the other one uh, near to blue and then or violet uh, in here i use it explicitly a color map of the hsv if i use it gray i could use gray as well but it will show me something that's uh, the brighter the color is is related to something and the darker would be something else but using the hsv it maps it into the actual hue um, so this is the first channel s uh, sorry h the second one is s so it's just saturation and tells us how saturated is each pixel and the final one is just v which is value so it's basically a grayscale image now i'm going to again show two versions of the same function the two of them applies a sigmoidal contrast in in all pixels in the first one we, we are going to apply this enhancement to all pixels equally and in the second one so in rgb uh, in every rgb pixel in the second one instead of working directly in rgb i'm going to convert to a set a hsv and then process only the value so only this channel here why is that because i don't want to change any chromatic component i don't want to change or uh, to contrast uh, the hue and neither the saturation and i'm going to show you here so in the left hand side i have the image that was the its contrast change it using all uh, the the actual rgb values so as you can see here the the colors became much more saturated so as the the pixels are um are darker they become much less saturated as they are light uh, they are they have higher values they are much more saturated so it changes the color balance so the the dog here so it almost uh, looks like an artificial and even the grass in in the back here it's uh, much more vivid so i uh, i may intend to do that i may intend to change the saturation but this is not the case i'm i just want to change the contrast so i just want to improve the overall contrast without changing the saturation if i want to do that i can for example work on the value and in this case here you can compare that the hair of the dog um, that the color here matches much more the original one when i operate only in the value of the um of the the hsv system for the image so in summary when are going to process color images we could operate on rgb but we have to take care to use linear uh, rgb and we also can use alternative color systems such as the hsv and the lab in order to process them correctly